who's next? Ernesto. And you're doing that wonderful art from Elsa Chang. So this is great, and I can tell immediately that you have some great modeling skills, but I do have some suggestions. So we have exactly one view. It's the side view, and that's tough. We don't know what she looks like from the front. So you've guessed, and she looks pretty good. Let's look at the side view first. What you have here is gorgeous, but there's something super magical about this art that's just so appealing. We really need to study that and compare very, very critically with the shapes that you have. You've got it close. It's just where can you go to get it even closer. So on inspection, I think you're going to find that this break here is too high and that once you do break, that you're not coming out horizontally enough. As you come down off the nose, I think you're coming too far in. I think you need to stop and then start immediately with that lip. And then there's some simplification of the lips, I think, would be appropriate. And then come here, out, and then instead of dipping in quite so far, coming down simpler, like coming down like that, and then beginning to roll around, come out just a hair, and then roll around a little simpler through here. Okay, so this is kind of where I think you ought to go with it. And I think you're close. Next thing, I think you've done a great job on the lips, but I think they could be a little simpler. So we talked about a lot of the stuff in the face. Let's look at a few other things. You might be just a little bit front facing on the eyes. Because when I look at her, I notice I see this a lot. I'm noticing these shapes here. And I think it's making her look a little older because she starts to feel like she's got a sunken face. And as I was saying earlier, the younger you are, the less you have sort of like little sunken areas. Now, you know, you do want an eyelid, of course. On top of that, I think you could sort of like puff it out where she has flesh. Younger people, they have more flesh. And the older people have got like the sunken. It's I feel like we need to move this out, sort of like bringing this out, I think will start to make her look a little more normal. So we're angling the eyes just a little bit more. We want to take this stuff, bring it out. We want to give her a little youth, you know. We want to take any hint of sunken shapes out of her. And then we want to make this more abrupt change. And then even this, I don't know if I like that. The more we can simplify those shapes, the better she's going to look, more attractive, more youthful. So it's like we want this to come off the eye and just immediately swoop up toward that nose and not have a big indentation. And I always like to do this uh, before and after, the old and the new. Uh, I'm just going to toggle it. So you see, even that, I'm not done yet with that but you see how that looks kind of old this sort of younger now that's a really dark line dark line becomes very light line and as a result she starts to look a little younger and then on the bottom same thing it's like this sunkenness again if we play up this line too much then she starts to look old right because then we're emphasizing that so what we want to do is we just want to hint at it here and then have it sort of disappear here and right here, like I feel like this can start to go away. Maybe we need to just take a little out right here and add a little more in right here. All right, so here's our before and after, small things, but I feel like it helps. Now what I did, I think keeping this line that far is not working now. I don't like that at all now that I'm seeing it further away. So I'm gonna to try to get rid of some of those. So we want this to fade away as it gets around to the corner. Like we want a little detail here, a little detail here. And then we want it to fade away as we get to the sides of the eye. And then we want it close here. The lines get close and then further away. So again, filling that out I think helps. Next thing is the nose. I kind of like that you've got this, like a sandblasted nothing hole. It might work to have nothing there, or just something very subtle. From some angles, the nose as a whole starts to get kind of cluttery. I feel like maybe we shave a little bit off of here. And maybe this disappears a little faster here. Maybe this kicks in a little bit, because I feel like this 
ridge is sort of like uniform. I'm trying to change the highlight. But the highlight shape is super important because it shows what the, the shape is actually doing where you can't see it. I want to create the most uh, graceful lines through the nose from all different angles. And maybe I can do something about this shape here. I feel like this flow is a little bit nicer than the before. But I'm still upset about this. I feel like this is too deep. So we want it to fade away and be almost featureless here. So maybe something like that. So let me just talk about the lips just a little bit more. You know, again, closing the lips, I think, would be helpful to try to create the look first. And then if you needed to open them up again for rigging or, or whatever later. One thing that's cool about this is this line comes out. See how far it like overtakes the other line. It's almost like it kicks up like this. It's really kind of cute. So, you know, how can you go a little bit further along those lines? You know, definitely, as you know, because you're a good modeler, there are things you can do to hit that shape a little closer, pushing out like this and maybe flattening that upper lip. I think that's kind of part of what makes her kind of cute is simple. We want to look for simple shapes. So you see how this is now a simplified shape pointing this way. It's like more aggressively sharpened up like that. It's like riding a little higher right here. Like I think that's kind of cool. And then the same thing on the lower in terms of that sharpening along the edge. And then the sharpening fades toward the corner. I keep talking about this in terms of organic shapes. Like they change over the length. Like it's really sharp here, and then it's like softer and softer. Then it disappears. Sharp, sharp, soft, soft, soft. So it's that change, like sharp to soft, sharp to soft. That's the thing that makes it look organic and makes it look interesting and makes it look appealing. A lot of the tricks are in that. And then I felt like this is scooping in too far. And then it's just more attractive, I think, to have the neck do this. It's like another age cue or something. She's still a little wide-lipped for me. I think cuter is a little narrower. So then I would say, oh, how can we do that? Maybe we can come in here and bring this in just a little bit. And then just for fun, I just want to add just a little bit of upturn, just, just to sort of believe it myself. You know, I want to sell myself the character as I'm modeling to find her, and then I'll worry about a little neutralization later. She doesn't have a receding chin. It's pretty substantial. So, which makes me think as soon as we roll around to the three quarters, she's kind of fish-lipped because of that chin coming back so far. I would bring it forward a little more. When you come to this uh, three-quarter view, you're getting this filled in a little bit instead of this. I think that's a little nicer. Now, maybe I filled in a little too far, but it's so important that three-quarter view is like what you see there. Super important. Now that to that is like this is, you know, a receding jawline. I think it's slightly less attractive than a substantial jawline. But then maybe I don't want to get too wide either. So I'm just going to sink it a little bit right here. Oh, it's such a delicate balance. I want it like 
a little bit pointy, but not too pointy, a little bit wide, not too wide. All this stuff makes a big difference. And I'm just going to narrow out the mouth just a little bit more. All right, let's see what we got. What's the R before and after? Yeah. You know, you could go further with this for sure, but I feel like it's in the right direction. And I'll just say one more thing about her to work on, and that is the ear. You know, it's like you choose some of the lines to accentuate. These are the lines that the artist chose to accentuate. If you want to have that same feeling when you look at your model, how can you get that? Well, maybe you've pulled it a little long, because that's one thing. You might have got too much of a break here instead of like flowing right across there. But mainly it's about the shape of this inside stuff. Like I would say to round this out, lift it up, and then have this come off of it. And then the rest of it sort of disappear. This all needs to dissipate. It's like too much visual. So I would just try to get rid of this detail here and then just join this right through here. So these are the lines you see and the other lines you don't really see. Okay. Like, there's no doubt that you had a really, really great-looking model. It's just like, what tweaks can you do to um, take it further?